Hello everybody, welcome to my day 23, to day 23 of my 90 day challenge and today is so special because I'm on top of Mount Yangbo, I'm at the summit, I'm the peak and let me show you, yes, how beautiful it is, come on, look at it, that's how beautiful it is, alright, oops, there you go, <laughs> okay, that's that's Mount Yangbo. Hi, Paolo Abadesco. This is Mount Yangbo. Let me show you. All right. This top there. Okay. Hi, Val. So my message for you today is rather a question. And the question is, what path will you take today? What path will you take today? You know, this is my first time to it's my first time to visit this 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 mountain, this Mount Yangbo. It's my neighbor, but it's my third time. And during the first two two visits, I took a uh, a path, a, a more familiar path. And while I was walking, going up here, I noticed that there is a welcome board, like "Welcome to Mount Yangbo," and I and it's it's a different path. It's a different. You know, it's a different, like, entrance. Of course, not an entrance, but, but then I realized, hey, let me take this, this path. Let's see. I, I don't know. I've, it's not familiar to me. It's, it's rather, you know, it's... I didn't know what, what will happen in that path. It was a surprise, but then I took it. And it was a beautiful surprise. It's a more challenging a trail, apparently. And then I arrived here. And then I saw that I thought, I thought that I was, I will be alone <laughs> in this mountain in this time. But apparently when I arrived here on top, there are more people. Let me show you some of them here. Let, let's turn around. Okay, here, here. There's some, some people there. And then some people where? Down, 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 over there. Over there. There are many, many people. And what's my point? You know, I'm veering away from my first point, what the path to take today. But let me just say that in life, sometimes you think that our, the world revolves around us and whatever path we're taking. And we think that we're alone. Sometimes it's like we alone are the ones, you see, there. <laughs> sometimes you think that we are it's only us. Sometimes the world revolves around us. That's what we think. But hey, it, it's not the case. It's not the case. And people are, are just like you, wanting to enjoy, enjoy things, enjoy the world, enjoy nature. And we live in a world of, that must be shared with people. And whatever we do, somehow, let us not think that it's, it's only us or let us... Let's consider other people. Sometimes in, in life, we, we just go and drive towards something that we forget that, hey, there are people around us. And if we forget that, if we ignore that truth, that fact, we tend to, to do things that may, that may hurt us, that may hurt other people, that may hurt all of us. Why? Because after all, we are all interconnected, regardless of how different our views can be, how different our approaches, our personality, our faces, our, our smell, our looks, you know. And that's it. So my friend, what path are you taking today? Maybe it's a different path that you need to consider. Maybe it's a, it's a less familiar, it's not familiar to you. But maybe it's something better. And something better doesn't mean easier. It may be a more challenging one. My friend, this morning, you know, I didn't really structure what I'm going to share with you today. <laughs> but this morning, the, you know, what's this? The, the roosters were just, you know, crow crowing, is that crowing? You call that crowing? And I realized, hey, it's like nature is calling, calling for me. So let me go out there and enjoy whatever is there. So I came up here 
took a, a rather different path from a, from a familiar routine. And I would like to, to make this a more familiar routine to me. Because after all, I'm from the mountains and I love the mountains. And my friend, what, what path are you taking today? What path will you take today? A, is it going to be a, a familiar path? Is it going to be a, a less familiar or unfamiliar path? Is it going to be a more challenging one? But you know that it will lead you to something that is wonderful, that is better, not just for you, but to the people around you. Maybe you're a, uh, you're a leader, you're a, a member of a team. You lead a team, you're part of a team, you are a supervisor, you are a manager, you are an officer, whatever. You may be a public official, maybe you're campaigning now, I don't know. What path should you take today? And I hope that path is a path of love, which you and I, I know, are, are still working on. Because after all, all of us are a work in progress. But please consider that, that life, life is to be lived with, with goodness as we are meant to be. Life is meant to, to be lived with kindness, with joy, with, with hope, with faith, with love. My friends, I hope you think about these things. What path will you take today? And that is also a question that I'll be reflecting as I end this video. Thank you so much for joining me on day 23 of my 90-day challenge. It's this is not the usual structure of my video, but maybe I'm just inviting you to take it all, take it in. This beauty in nature, this beauty of love, love, life. Let's talk more about our usual topics. On Monday, but for now, let me just ask you to think about what path will you take today? Bye-bye. God bless you.